Hey everyone, I just read Halo Evolutions, Essential Tales of the Halo Universe, with stories and poems by Jonathan Goff, B.K. Evanson, Eric Raab, Frank O'Connor, Tobias Buckle, Fred Van Lent, Tessa Coom, Jeff Vandermeer, Robert McLeese, Karen Travis, Eric Nyland, and Kevin Grace. And it was okay, though I'd hardly call any of these stories essential. It's a short story collection set in the Halo universe, with tales ranging from the mental battle between Cortana and the Gravemind, to the life story of celebrated Admiral Preston J. Cole, to an ODST suicide mission to keep the Covenant from discovering Earth's location with the help of a cantankerous AI after everyone else on board their ship is killed. The pros? The collection covers a wide variety of genres that each present the world in an interesting but consistent way. Some like Dirt are heartfelt, some like the Mona Lisa are horror stories, some like Blunt Instrument are action through and through, but none of them felt like they didn't belong. If I had to pick favourites, it would be Dirt, Human Weakness, and The Return. They gave glimpses at scenarios and aspects of the setting that the games mostly glossed over, like the plight of normal soldiers, Cortana's mental battle with the Gravemind, and how the elites define themselves after the end of the Human Covenant War. And they were very moving stories too, I enjoyed them. And I enjoyed the poetry on offer here. The cons? This collection had a great opportunity to move away from the Spartans, but quite a few of the stories are still centred on them. A couple like Dirt and Pariah used them well, but for the most part I just didn't care for them, Headhunters especially. The games and the other books give them enough focus as is. On that note, this collection really didn't use the Flood very well. They are only really seen from human perspectives rather than their own, Mona Lisa was just a standard alien clone, and the Gravemind doesn't even speak in rhyme for the vast amount of human weakness. It just felt like a huge missed opportunity. And if I had to pick a least favourite from the collection, it'd probably be stomping on the heels of a fuss. It had a wonderfully bleak ending, but otherwise it was pretty boring and rote overall. I've never been a huge fan of short stories Story, so take this review with a grain of salt, but it was fine. I definitely wouldn't consider it essential though, only roughly half the stories actually felt like they added anything to the setting. If you're on the fence about reading video game tie-in novels, this honestly isn't a bad jumping on point since it features so many of the frequent writers for the series, but I'd only recommend it if you're interested in the source material. And I'm giving Halo Evolutions a low B. Sorry. What should I read next? Comment down below. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.